the licensure exam for pharmacists aiming for Australia and New Zealand is same. While the structure and pattern of the exam are same, there are some differences in the eligibility and process for both the countries. Hello everyone, I am Sunidhi Shahi and welcome back to Academically. In today's video, we will tell you about the differences between the opera exam for Australia and New Zealand. Let's break it down for you. First thing first, eligibility criteria. To be eligible for the opera exam in both countries, you must hold a Bachelor of Pharmacy B Pharm or a Doctor of Pharmacy D Pharm and be actively registered as a pharmacist in your home country. But here is a key difference for New Zealand. You also need at least one year of professional experience in either retail or hospital pharmacy. Australia on the other hand does not require this additional work experience which makes the process more accessible for recent graduates. Moving on to the next difference, number of attempts. New Zealand gives you only two attempts to clear the opera exam. That's right, just two. So if you don't pass on the second try, you may lose the chance to practice in New Zealand. On the other hand, Australia is much more flexible. You get unlimited attempts, giving you a better chance at success even if you don't clear it right away. Now here is a key difference between the registration process of opera for New Zealand and Australia. Once you pass the opera exam, what happens next is very different depending on the country you choose. In Australia, you will need to complete a pharmacy internship and meet the registration requirements of the Pharmacy Board of Australia and then you are ready to practice. In New Zealand, things are more layered. First, you must complete a New Zealand Pharmacy Legislation NZPL course, a three-month program on pharmacy law and ethics. Then you will need to undergo a one-year internship under the Evolve program, which includes continuous assessments and real-world training before full registration. But there is an easier alternative. If you want to become a pharmacist in New Zealand and avoid lengthy process, let me tell you what you can do. You can complete the Opera for Australia process and register as a pharmacist in Australia. After completing the registration and working in Australia for some time, you can move your licensure to New Zealand and start working there. Want to know about the complete process and all the pathways? Book a free counselling session with our experts at Academically and get started today. At Academically, we guide you through the best pharmacy career pathways and help you complete them with a lot of ease. Visit the link in the description to get started today. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and drop your questions in the comments below. Let's get you closer to your global pharmacy dream. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.